Good evening and welcome to Children's Storytime Classics. Today's book is Walt Disney's The Penguin That Hated the Cold. And this book was adapted by Barbara Brenner and it was originally published back in 1973. Once there was a penguin named Pablo. He lived on a block of ice far away at the South Pole. The weather there was always cold. Penguins like the cold. Most penguins, that is, but not Pablo. Penguins like to dive and swim and catch fish in the icy water, but not Pablo. Pablo was the only penguin on his block who hated the cold. All the other penguins went skiing and ice skating or they played all day in the snow at the beach, but not Pablo. Pablo stayed inside close to the hot stove. He kept his flippers warm and his feathers warm. Cold weather, said Pablo, is for the birds. The other birds, not me. One day Pablo said to himself, it is silly to be chilly. I will go where I can be warm all the time. He put on his skis and packed his stove on his back. So long, you birds, said the other penguins. Wish me luck. Uh-oh, something was wrong. The stove was pulling him backwards. Pablo was going the wrong way. Down the hill he went, faster and faster. He was sliding straight toward a cliff. Suddenly, Pablo was hanging upside down. His skis had caught on the icy cliffs. Now that was not such a good idea, said the other penguins. Poor Pablo was frozen stiff. They had to carry him home to his igloo. There, they held him under a hot shower until he could walk again. The next day, Pablo had another idea. He put hot water bags on his feet and under his coat. He put them around his neck. So long, you birds, said Pablo. This time, nothing can go wrong. But something did. When Pablo stopped to look at his map, the hot water bags melted the snow. They melted the ice. Pablo sank and sank and sank down into the ice-cold water. Poor Pablo, said the other penguins, he will never get anywhere. When they pulled him out, he was frozen in a block of ice, and that was the way they carried him home. But Pablo's hot stove soon melted the ice. Next day, Pablo said, now I have an idea that will really work. I will go by boat. He got a saw and cut a boat out of the ice under his igloo. Inside the igloo, everything was ready for the big trip. His stove was in place. His tub was in place. He was all set to go. All the penguins on the block came to say goodbye. Then Pablo pulled up his sail and off he went. His boat sailed on and on through snow and fog, past mountains of ice. Day after day, night after night, Pablo sailed on. Then one morning he woke up to find that the sun was shining. Hot weather at last. I made it, cried Pablo. He took off his warm clothes. He lay down in the warm sunshine. Oh boy, Pablo said, this is the life. But Pablo spoke too soon. The hot sun started to melt his house. Then it began to melt his boat. Soon Pablo was floating on a little piece of ice. He jumped into the tub. But there was a hole in the bottom of the tub. Water began to run in. Pablo had to pour it out as fast as he could. 
Quickly, he put the shower pipe into the hole. The water began to splash out of the shower. Suddenly, the tub started to go full speed ahead. Far away, Pablo saw land and trees. His boat sailed up onto the sandy beach. Pablo got out. He walked over to a banana tree and picked a nice yellow banana. This looks like a good place to build my house, he said. He collected lots of branches and started building it. At last, Pablo had found the land of his dreams. No more cold for him. And that's the end. Thank you for joining me this evening. I hope you have a very nice rest tonight and please subscribe.